So here's a mixing bowl we picked up in Selma. I mean, you can see right off the bat, this thing's bright. Um, this stuff is called jadeite. And the little booth in the antique store that we found this in um, had just a huge shelf that was full of jadeite. I mean, guy probably had 60 to 70 pieces there. And out of all of it, and this is early on in our quest for, for uranium glass, but um, out of all of it, there were three pieces that fluoresced, and this is one of the three. Um, not the most ornate of the three, but the cheapest of the three, and we were just coming back from vacation, so we, we blew a big chunk of money. So uh, this was what I could afford to buy. My wife was very hesitant about it. She didn't think uh, she didn't think it was what it was, and then I, I kind of looked it up online, and yeah, sure enough, they made jadeite with uranium as well. Uh, not all of it. Like I said, this guy had about 70, 60, 70 pieces, and only about three pieces actually fluoresced, uh, and it was bright. Um, I mean, like from about 10, 15 feet away, I just kind of hit it with my cheap little Walmart $10 black light flashlight. And, um, man, it, it was like a shining beacon of, uh, of by me. Um, so just before I even put a, there you go. Yeah. Let the camera focus a little. Come on. Hey, you see me? Focus. Of course, now it's not going to focus, is it? There we go. Yeah, that's bright. I mean, it, the, the again, camera's not doing it justice. It's got a really yellow tint in the camera. Um, but uh, I mean, just if you could see the wall up there is green. <laughs> just from the reflection of this thing. Um, keep in mind, this is a black light. This is a black light in a dark room. And what you see, that, that glow, is from uranium. Um, so, we're 33 counts, 36 counts. <laughs> yeah, it just jumps up just being near it. Um, I'm really, really curious what this is going to end up. Uh, I did it the other day. Um, this was the first piece that I tested when I got my Geiger counter. And we put this thing in the bowl and my wife and I were standing, standing over it, looking down into the bowl, watching it. And it went up to six or 700 counts per minute. But my wife was radioactive at the time. And she could just kind of move near this thing and it would just start screaming. We put it up to her neck that night and it was, uh, 22, 2300 counts per minute. And then, um, laid it on her stomach and, uh, it got up to 3,500 counts per minute. So yeah, she was definitely a little hotter than this bull, but, um, now I'm just kind of curious to see where this thing goes now that, uh, she's not standing hovering over it. Yeah, it's screaming along. It's like 350 right now, or three, 335, 340. That's still pretty high for for a uh, not uranium glass piece of uh, piece of uh, uh, kitchenware. And kitchenware this is. Um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to show it to you, but down inside this bowl are just copious amounts of scratch marks um, this thing was used I would imagine many a cakes were uh, were mixed up in this bowl and that's kind of frightening um, I think we got around 330 340 that's uh, hovering around 300. Um, it's pretty high. It's pretty high for something you're going to mix a cake up in. But, um, yeah, just, it's really neat. Really neat watching this thing fluoresce. I mean, it's super, super bright. 
There you go. Take a look at the wall behind it. Again, that's not a white light shining in there. That's that's purple. That's black light. So. So shine through that thing green. And like I said, look at the wall behind it. Um, it's an off-white and yellow wall. So. Pretty neat. Pretty neat piece. I, I like this a lot. And yeah, we're over 350 counts per minute right now. So I'm going to sign off from you guys, but I'm going to watch this thing for a while. Just see where it ends up. 